Okay. Itutuloy po natin yung ating pag-aaral dahil medyo na nabitin po tayo nung nakaraan. Itutuloy natin sa uh, umpisahan natin muna dun sa pagbalikan natin yung Revelation 17. <coughs> dun sa mga na Sino bang wala dito noon? Okay. Um, nakita natin sa propesya na meron pong Antichrist na darating at sa panahon natin eh, dumating na siya. Nasa panahon siya ng uh, healing process ngayon. At uh, darating ang panahon na yung sugat na ikamamatay na natum natamo niya noong 1798 <laughs> yan po ay gagaling at nakikita na po natin ang paggaling uh, ang sabi sa atin yung mundo ay uh, nag-wonder sa beasts na mamangha at ngayon nakikita na naman natin ang pagiging kamangha-mangha sa mundo ng beasts. At uh, identify natin kung sino yung beasts. Yung may base. Okay? <clears throat> Wala pong ibang puwersa na naghari sa buong mundo na nag-fit doon sa specification ng prophecy and revelation maliban dito sa papal room. Wala nang iba. Okay? Ngayon, di ito yung una nating uh, tiningnan sa Revelation 13. Tiningnan natin yung political power. Uh, uh, beasts. Ang ibig sabihin ng beasts. Political uh, power yan. Kingdom. At titingnan naman natin ngayon, uh, babalik aralin natin ito dahil na pag-aralan na natin, na simulan na natin ito, Ito naman yung uh, religious aspect naman ng Papal Rome. Tandaan nyo, ang, ang uh, Papal Rome, meron siyang political power, meron din siyang religious power. Combined sa isang, uh, sa isang office or system. Okay? One of the seven angels who had the seven bowels came and said to me, Come, I will show you the punishment of the great prostitute who sits by many waters. At dito rin sa chapter na ito, define yung kung anong ibig sabihin ng symbol na many waters. Ang ibig sabihin ito, uh, maraming tao, maraming uh, nations, languages. Uh, Iikwan mo nga ng kwan, Brad, sa 15, para makita lang natin yan. Sabi, then the angel said to me, the waters you saw where the prostitute sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and languages. So dito rin dinefine kung ano yung tubig na inuupuan ng uh, prostitute. Ayan, balik po tayo. Tingnan ninyo ang mga katangi nito. Right? Sabi po rito, um, with her the kings of the earth committed adultery and the inhabitants of the earth were intoxicated with the wine of her adulteries. <coughs> yung <coughs> yung pong uh, papal Rome, siya yung merong nung panahon na makapangyarihan siya. Siya po yung nag-anoint ng mga kings. <coughs> At kung hindi in good terms ang king sa Juan sa Pope, pwede niyang i-reject ang kwan niya, ang uh, anointing niya as king. So, talagang kwan, nag, nagpapa pogi points lahat ng, kwan, ng kings sa Pope. Para sa ganun, pagka dumating yung uh, time na ipoproclaim sila, i-anoint na sila as king, eh hindi, <coughs> kwan, hindi magkaroon ng uh, problema. <coughs> so, yan, yan po ang ibig sabihin na uh, the, the kings of the earth committed adultery and the inhabitants of the earth were intoxicated with the wine of her adulteries. 
Sa mula't mula pa, sa kasaysayan ng bayan ng Diyos sa Old Testament, okay? hindi nagsasama, hindi po nagsasama ang political power at ang religious power. Hindi nagsasama. Pag nagsama itong dalawang ito, adultery. Okay? Dahil hindi sila dapat nagsasama. Tingnan ninyo, para, wag, para matiyak ng Diyos na hindi magiging isang tao lang ang hari at ang high priest. Ang high priest magagaling lang sa isang tribe. Sa tribe ni Levi. Okay? At hindi lang sa tribe ni Levi, ni Levi kundi sa family ni Aaron. So hindi lang doon sa tribe, kundi yung family, doon manggagaling yung mga high priest. So, yung ibang tribes, hindi pwedeng maging high priest. Walang, walang pwedeng maging high priest sa uh, ibang tribes. Halimbawa, sa tribe ni Judah, sa tribe ni uh, Reuben, sa, sa tribe ni God, ah, sir, yung 12 tribes. Right? Ang pwede lang maging high priest ay galing sa tribe ni Levi at galing sa angkan ni Aaron. Sa king naman, Walang ibang panggagaling ang king kundi yung tribe ni Judah. Ibig sabihin, yung tribe ni Levi, kailanman hindi magiging king. So, talagang magkahiwala ito. Yung religious uh, power na hawak ng high priest at saka yung political power na hawak ng king, hindi pwedeng mapunta sa iisang tao. Right? Ang reason po ay obvious. Pagka pinagsama mo ang political power at ang religious power, ang ginagawa ng religious power, ginagamit niya yung political power to propagate her fun, her beliefs. Yun ang nangyayari. Kaya sinigurado ng Diyos, hindi pwedeng magsama ito. Okay? Iisa, sa iisa lamang persona pwedeng magsama itong dalawang ito. Sa persona ni Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is both our High Priest, He is also our King. Kaya lang, walang possibility na mag-abuso. Okay? Kaya pwede pagsamayin sa Kanya, hindi siya mga abuso. Hindi niya gagamitin yung Kanyang pagiging King para sa ganun, i-propagate niya kung ano yung gusto niya. Hindi sana lahat Kristiyano na kung, uh, kung ginamitan niya ng one, ng uh, Kanyang Kingly Power. Okay? So, pagka yung political power at saka yung uh, religious power ay eh, nagsama yan, pan yan, adultery, kung tawagin nila sa, pan, sa language ng Revelation. Yung mga kings of the earth committed adultery kasi nakikwan sila, nakikikunayib sila sa Pope para sa ganun matiyak nila ang kanilang uh, political power. <coughs> okay. Then, the angel cried to me, yung ating ipad? The angel, <laughs> then the angel carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness where I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. Ngayon, familiar itong panato, beast na ito, na may seven heads and ten horns. Familiar yan. Dahil yan din po yung beast sa Revelation 13. Okay? <clears throat> Ibig sabihin, yan yung political power ng papal rope. Okay? <clears throat> uh, yung seven heads, yan po yung one, yung seven empire, na nasakop ng uh, kwan, ng Rome. Siya yung pangpito. Okay? Assyria, o oh, una, Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Medi-Persia, uh, Greek, Greece, tapos Pagan Rome, Papal Rome. Okay? Ito yan. <clears throat> uh, ibig sabihin, itong beast na ito, na may characteristics nung lahat ng empire na nauna sa kanya, ito po, dito nakasakay yung babae, yung woman. In other words, 
the political power, the beast, was carrying the woman, the church, the apostate church. Okay? Itong patutot o yung, kwan, yung uh, prostitute, itong kumakatawan sa uh, apostate church. Sa banal na kasulatan, ang babae ay kumakatawan sa iglesia. Okay? <coughs> Ngayon, tingnan po natin ito. The woman was dressed in purple and scarlet. Now, interestingly, okay, interestingly, yan po ang official color ng Roman Catholic Church. Right? Scarlet at saka purple. Ang, ang, ang kanyang mga kwan, ang kanyang pong mga cardinales, sorry, ang kanyang mga bishops, purple ang kanilang suot. Ang kwa naman, ang mga cardinals niya, scarlet ang suot. Okay? Ang kulay. Okay? And was glittering with gold, precious stones, and pearls. Paghanap ka ng maraming one, maraming alahas nasa Rome. Kasi ang gina, ginawa po ng Rome nung panahon na talagang kwan, nasa kwan siya, pinakil ng powers niya, lahat ng bansang nasasakupan niya, Kinuha niya yung gold, kinuha niya yung lahat ng, what, ng mga uh, precious stones. Talagang kinuha. Eh. Sa Pilipinas nga lang, yung daming one. Ang eh. dami niyang nakuhang gold, dami niyang nakuhang mga, uh, mga jewels, jewelries. Yan. She had a golden cup in her hand. Ito po yung one. Itong... Uh, power na ito, yung mga description dito, nag-fit talaga sa, kwan, sa papal room. Ang chalice, isa sa mga favorite na kwan ng uh, room, yung chalice, yung tawagin nila. Okay? At yung mga chalice na, kwan, na nasa room, hindi yan basta chalice, gold talaga, at saka, kwan, studded ng mga jewels. Yan, yan ang kwan, ginagamit ng mga kardinal at ng pope. She had a golden cup in her hand filled with the abominable things and the filth of her adulter adulteries. The name written on her forehead was a mystery. Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes. Na-explain mo na po kung bakit Babylon ang tawag sa babaeng ito, sa uh, prostitute. Dahil ang Babylon, yung tunay na Babylon, yung uh, dating uh, ay yung Iraq ngayon, right? yan ang Babylon dati, nakakuan siya, nakaupo siya sa river. Ito yung Babylon, sa, sa panya, sa gitna niya, dumadaan yung Euphrates River. Maluwang na panya, na ilog. At uh, yung palas talaga, eh nakaupo talaga doon. Right? At uh, yun ay ginagamit ng uh, Babylon noon para sa komersyo nila. Okay? Kung pupunta ka sa, kwan, sa Babylon, dadaan ka sa, kwan, sa river nila. Yun ang uh, isa sa mga uh, means of transport nila sa kanilang uh, trade and commerce. <coughs> Kaya itong babae nito, Itong prostitute na ito, na naka, nakita ni John na nakaupo sa maraming tubig, right? kaya Babylon din ang itinawag sa kanya. Okay? <clears throat> And of the abominations of the earth, prostitute siya. Right? Mother siya ng mga prostitutes. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang mga anak. Right? Mother. Eh. Okay. So may mga kasama siyang mga false uh, churches. I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of, the God, of God's holy people, the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus Christ. <coughs> Kwan po ito? Documented sa history ito. Right? Ang estimate nila, mahigit sa 50 million Christians. Right? Hindi ito, kwan, hindi ito non-Christians. Kundi 50 million Christians were, kwan, slaughtered by uh, Rome during its 1,000 year reign. Okay. So, tama yung description niya rito. 
Uh, he was, she was drunk with the, with the blood of God's holy people, the blood of those who bore the testimony of Jesus. <clears throat> when the angel said, then the angel said to me, when I saw her, I was greatly astonished. Then the angel said to me, why are you astonished? I will explain to you the mystery of the woman and of the beast, he writes, which has the seven heads and ten horns. The beast which you saw once was, now is not, and yet will come up of the abyss and go to its destruction. Okay? Kaya makikita ninyo yung uh, history ng uh, ito, kingdom. Ang sabi niya, sunayon. Merong yugto. Itong bis na ito, once was. Ibig sabihin, nagkuan siya, nag-wage siya ng power, past. Sa panahong ito, itong bis, eh, one, hindi na, hindi na powerful. Sa panahong ito. Pero, darating siya uli. Magiging powerful siya uli. Okay? Makikita niyo yung uh, paggaya niya sa, kuan sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Ang ating Pangino, Panginoong Iso Kristo, He who was, and is, and is to come. Right? Ganyan talaga yung Antichrist. Ini-ape niya o ginagaya niya ang ating Panginoon. Alright. <clears throat> Sabi niya, the inhabitants of the earth whose names have not been written in the book of life from the creation of the world, will be astonished when they see the beast because it once was, now is not, and yet will come. This calls for a mind with wisdom. The seven heads are the seven hills on which the woman sits. Okay? Ngayon, eto ba? Itong ito. Kwan ito eh. Uh, parang uh, palatandaan ito. Itong seven hills on which the woman sits. Alright? Alam nyo ba na ang Rome, ang tawag sa Rome, the city of the seven hills. The city on the seven hills. Alright? Tingnan nyo po yung what? Eh, Meron tayong Google dyan. Tingnan nyo lang. <coughs> uh, city City of the Seven Hills. Hindi, huwag mo muna isulat yung Rome. City of the Seven Hills. City of the Seven Hills. Yan. Pati sa Akwan, pati yung geography niya. Akwan. Ipinakita kay Jan. Right? Eh, ito yung city na nakaupo sa Seven Hills. Right? Ngayon, maaaring meron pang ibang cities na meron din Seven Hills. Pero hindi nila namimit yung ibang specification ng prophecy. Halimbawa, itong babaeng ito, nakaupo siya sa Seven Hills. Itong city. Ang, tao, ang sabi rito sa later on dun sa Seven Hills, Itong babae ito is the city. City ito. Right? Walang ibang one, walang ibang uh, city na nasa nakaupo sa Seven Hills na merong religious power na worldwide maliban sa Rome. Wala. Okay? So hindi pwedeng ibang one ito. O ibang uh, city ito. Okay? <clears throat> yeah. The seven heads are the seven hills on which the woman sits. They are also seven kings. Five have fallen. Right? Uh, five, Assyria, but, uh, Assyria uh, no, Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, and Persia, uh, Greece. So, wala na yun. Right? You know, Rome, ang natitira. Five have been fallen. One is, right? And the other has not yet come. So, ibig sabihin yung panahong ito, yung papal Rome, hindi pa dumarating. 
na yung pang-anim pa lang, yung pagan robe ang nandyan. Right? <clears throat> but then, when he does come, he must remain for a little while. Little while. The beast who once was, and now is not, is an eight king. He belongs to the seven, and is going to this to his destruction. Pangwalo siya, pero kasama siya sa seven. Right? The ten horns you saw are ten kings who have not yet received a kingdom. Sa panahon ito, they have not yet received a kingdom sa isa ko pa sila ng pagan Rome. Right? Ito yung ten kingdoms na nag-disintegrate, nung mag-disintegrate ang Roman Empire, na, na form itong uh, ten kingdoms na to. Na form. Okay? <clears throat> ang... Uh, Ang mga kingdoms nito, yan yung Germany, uh, Anglo-Saxon o United Kingdom, yan ang tawag natin. Nandiyan ang France, nandiyan ang uh, Portugal, nandiyan ang Spain, nandiyan ang Italy. Okay? <coughs> At Vatican. Right? Pagkaiba yung Italy at saka Vatican. Ang Vatican is a country within a country country and and it is the only right it is the only country within a country kay tingnan niyo sa kwan sa uh, wikipedia niyo <laughs> unique ito itong Vatican at ito lang ang kwan ito lang ang uh, state ito lang ang country na ang religious leader ay sharing political leader Right? The Pope runs Vatican. And he is both the head of the Catholic Church and he is the head of Vatican. Right? He is uh, the, the ruler of Vatican. <clears throat> Alright, so yung ten, ten kwan yan, uh, kingdoms, yung ten kingdoms na nanggaling sa uh, Roman Empire. They have one they have one purpose and will give their power and authority to the beasts. They will wage war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will triumph over them because He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Magpukwan uli ito. Makikipaglaban siya uli. Right? Natatanda ninyo, nakipaglaban na siya. Pero makikipaglaban siya uli. And with Him will be His called, chosen, and faithful followers. Yung followers ng Lamb. Then the angel said to me, the waters, yan, ipinaluwanag na natin yan, you saw where the prostitutes is, are peoples, multitudes, nations, and languages. In other words, itong mga taong ito, maraming tao, ang sumusuporta doon sa uh, one, prostitute o yung, yung uh, apostate charts. Right? Dala-dala ito ng mga tao. Ibig sabihin na, uh, kwan, uh, popular siya sa mga tao at itong mga tao ang nagdadala talaga sa kanya. Napapasunod niya. Kaya lang, the beast and the ten horns you saw will hate the prostitute. Darating ang panahon, yung mismong beast, yung pagan ay yung uh, kwan, yung uh, uh, political power, right? At saka yung mga kanya, uh, yung ten horns, yung mga nanggaling na bansa sa kwan, sa Rome, pagan Rome, uh, sa, anong tawag dito? Uh, pagan, western, uh, western Rome. Ang sabi dito, these ten horns you saw will hate the prostitute. Ang mangyayari dito, pag na-realize nila na nakuan lang sila, uh, na-deceive lang sila itong uh, prostitute na to o ng religious power na ito they will abandon abandon her yeah, abandon siya itong mga supporters niya in other words, itong many waters na ito will dry up madadry itong go na to itong mga supporters na to para bang yung tubig eh, natuyo right? Ganitong-ganito ang nangyari dun sa ancient Babylon. Okay? Dinibert ni uh, Cyrus the Great yung 
tubig ng uh, river Euphrates, dinivert niya, para sa ganun bumaba yung tubig at makapasok yung army ni Juan, ni Cyrus the Great, para uh, sakupin ang Babylon. At yan ay hinulaan naman sa, kwan eh, sa Isaiah, na ganyan talaga ang gagawin ni Cyrus. Okay? <coughs> uh, they will bring her to ruin and leave her naked. They will eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God has put it into their hearts to accomplish this, His purpose by agreeing to hand over to the beast their royal authority until <coughs> God's words are fulfilled. The woman you saw is the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. So city yung pa na yan. Yung woman na yan. Ha? <coughs> so city siya. Uh, at uh, walang iba pong city na nasa nakaupo sa Seven Hills. Na political, na religious power. Ruling the, the whole world. Na nagkaroon ng rule sa whole world. Maliban po sa people wrong. So, yung identification ng power na ito, hindi ka pwede magkamalit. The specification of prophecy right, point to papal Rome as the whore or the prostitute of Revelation uh, 17 and 18. Now, tingnan natin sa Revelation 18. <coughs> Sabi po rito, after this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. Ang angel sa kwan, messenger. Okay? Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng angel. Hindi ito mga tunay na angel na kwan. Na may pakpak, lalabinipad. Mga kwan po ito. Mga uh, symbols. Right? Ang ibig lang po sabihin ng angel ay messenger. Isa itong messenger ng Diyos na binigyan ng great authority and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become the dwelling for demons and a haunt for every impure spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, and a haunt for every clean, unclean, and detestable animal. <coughs> Darating ang panahon, Pagka na-realize ng buong mundo, yung inuupuan niyang uh, peoples and languages and nations na inuupuan o sumusuporta dito sa uh, Papal Rome, pag na-realize na nila, na na-deceive lang sila, they will go against her, okay? At merong, kwan, merong messenger, and the messenger can be kwan, peoples. Right? Hindi nangangawalang isang tao lang ito. Okay? It, it would be a movement. Okay? And they will pronounce that Babylon is fallen. Okay? Babagsak talaga itong, itong uh, paper room na ito. For all the nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. <clears throat> the kings of the earth committed adultery with her and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. Warning to escape Babylon. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. For her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. So, merong mga pan, merong mga bayan ang Diyos dyan sa pan, papal, uh, pan, papal room. So, hindi, kwan, hindi lahat ng uh, kwan, mga Roman Catholics eh, hindi masisave. No? May mga kwan talaga dyan. Uh, may bayan ng Diyos. Kaya, kailangan tawagin sila. Okay? Para sa ganun, huwag silang madamay pagka ibinuuso na ng Diyos ang kwan. Ang uh, plague sa Rome, hindi sila madamay. Okay? At sabi rito, that you will not share in her sins so that you will not receive any of her plagues. Talagang kwan, bubuhusan ng salot itong uh, panato, apostate church. Give back to her as she has given. Pay her back <coughs> double for what she has done. Pour her a double portion from her own cup. 
In her as much torment and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself. In her heart she boasts, I sit enthroned as queen, I am not a widow, I will never mourn. Therefore in one day her plagues will overtake her. Death, mourning, and famine, she will be consumed by fire. For mighty is the Lord God who judges, for, <coughs> who judges her. Uh, tapos ito yung mga panya. When the kings of the earth who committed adultery with her and shared her luxury see the smoke of her burning, they will weep and mourn over her. Terrified at her torment, they will stand far off and cry, <clears throat> Woe, woe to you, great city, you mighty city of Babylon. In one hour your doom has come. The merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her because no one buys their cargoes anymore. Cargoes of gold, silver, precious stones, and pearls. Fine linen, pure, purple, purple. purple <coughs> silk, and scarlet cloth. Every sort of citron wood. So, ito yung mga kalakal niya. Right? Pagka pinarusahan na siya ng Diyos, wala nang mga kalakal uh, with the pan, with the papal rope. Wala nang wala na siyang transaction sa uh, mga bansa. Okay. <coughs> Yan, eto, eto yung kwan, eto yung uh, uh, plagues na darating sa papal Rome. <clears throat> Woe to you, great city, kwan na yan. Uh, rejoice over here, you heavens, rejoice, you people of God, rejoice, apostles and prophets, for God has judged her with the judgments he imposed on you. <clears throat> The finality of Babylon's doom, then a mighty angel picked up a boulder the size of a large millstone and threw it into the sea and said, With such violence, the great city of Babylon will be thrown, thrown down, never to be found again. The music of, harp of harpers and musicians, pipers and trumpeters will never be heard in you again. No worker of any trade will ever be found in you. The sound of millstone will never be heard in you again. So, magiging kwan ito. Magiging, talagang i-abandon. I-abandon ng buong mundo. After they realize na uh, na ito ang nagbubo ng mga dugo ng prophets of and God's holy people, all of them have been slaughtered on the earth. Lahat ng na-slaughter niya. Okay. <clears throat> So yan ang kwan, ang wakas ng uh, Babylon. Tingnan natin sa 19. Ang 19 naman po ang uh, second coming ng ating Panginoon. In fact, uh, yung plagues ng kwan, ng uh, papal Rome, magkakaroon ng katapusan pagdating ni Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will destroy this whore, uh, this city, with the, upon the brightness of His coming. And sabi sa 2nd Kulit. 2nd Thessalonians chapter 2. Okay. <clears throat> After this I heard what sounded like the roar of great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belong to our God. For true and just are His judgments. He has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries. He has avenged on her the blood of His servants. Yeah. <clears throat> Tapos later on, uh, yeah, pinupuri, pinupuri ang uh, Panginoon, right? Uh, the Father and the one, the Lamb, pinupuri dahil nakita nila na just or righteous yung ginawa ng Diyos dito sa pagpaparusa sa poor. Tapos ngayon, pagkatapos ng one, mayroon namang one, uh, magandang scenery dito. Ito naman yung one. Then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all you servants, you who fear Him, both great and small. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters, and like loud peals of thunder shouting, Hallelujah, for our Lord God Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give Him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made herself ready. Yung bride ng Juan, ng uh, lamb, yung malinis na babae, okay? hindi yung prostitute. 
Ito yung one, marriage ng one, ng lamb at saka ng uh, church. <coughs> Kwan ito, gagawin na to sa one, sa langit na gagawin niya. Okay? <coughs> um, Padala ito. Conversation of one. Alright, the heavenly, ito, flashback na naman ito. The heavenly warrior defeats the beast. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. Kwan din ito, simbolism din ito ni Jesus Christ. With justice he judges and wages war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he, he himself, that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God, Jesus Christ. The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses, and dressed in fine linen, white and clean, coming out of his mouth. Yung tinatawag ditong armies of heaven, yan yung mga angels niya. Coming, coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So, kwan dito, victorious na ang kwan. Natalo na. And I saw, natalo na yung beast at saka yung kanyang mga kasamaan. And I saw an angel standing in the sun who cried in a loud voice to all the birds flying in the mid-air, Come, gather together for the great supper of God, so that you may eat the flesh of kings, generals, and mighty, and the mighty of horses and their riders, and the flesh of all people, free and slave, great and small. Then I saw the beasts, <coughs> your political power and rope, and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to wage war against the rider, on the horse and his army, but the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet, who had performed the signs. Kung uh, natin yan yung yung false prophet na yan yung second beast ng Revelation uh, one, Revelation thirteen, right? Who had performed signs, the signs uh, on on his, its behalf. With these signs, he had deluded those who had received the mark of the beast and worship its image. The two of them were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. The rest were killed with the sword coming out of the mouth of the rider on the horse, and all the birds gorged themselves on their flesh. So, in a poetic and symbolic uh, language, pinakita rito na matatalo yung beast, matatalo yung one, yung whore, matatalo yung false prophet, you know, yung second beast na Revelation 13. <coughs> Pagka sila po ay nag uh, man, nakipag digma ng huling digma sa Diyos. Okay. Ngayon, punta tayo sa uh, Revelation 20. Ito ang kwan. So, second coming yung Revelation 19. Okay. Ito naman, thousand years. And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven having the key to the abyss holding in his hand a great chain. He seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. Ngayon, <coughs> dito, maraming uh, interpretation dito na kung tutusin, wala siyang, wala siyang collaborative witness sa ibang parte ng New Testament. Ibig sabihin, yung interpretation na lang dito, walang kwan, walang nagpapagtuo sa ibang portion ng uh, New Testament. Okay? <clears throat> Titignan natin yan. Ang, ang interpretation nila rito, yung thousand years, right, ay literal one thousand years. Okay? <clears throat> I-diagram ko lang po para makita natin. Yung Revelation 19, oops, Naalala ninyo, yung Revelation 19, right? 
ito yung Revelation 19. Ito yung second coming. Second coming. Kung saan uh, ma kwan, matatalo yung beast, yung uh, yung false prophet kasama yung kwan, yung uh, whore, right? Matatalo sa pagdating ni ni kwan, ni Christ. Ngayon, sang ayon dito, ito raw Revelation 20, 1000 years talaga. thousand years na maghahari si Christ pagdating niya dito. One thousand years. Ito yung tinatawag nilang millennium. Millennium. Okay. <coughs> At ito yung end ng kwan ng uh, 1,000 years, ito yung tinatawag nilang ng marami na Great White Throne Judgment. <coughs> Nasa pa naman yan, Revelation 20. Okay. Ngayon, <coughs> Itong interpretation na literal, itong 1,000 years, maraming problema yan pagka literal. Okay. <coughs> Tingnan natin. Sabi po rito, merong isang angel, again, this is a messenger. Okay. He sees the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. He threw him into, an ab into the abyss and locked and sealed it over him to keep him from deceiving the nations anymore until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be set free for a short, for a short, right, for a short time. So, nakakulong siya dito, si Satan sang ayon dito, nakakulong siya rito na para hindi na niya madaya ang mga bansa. Uh, I saw the thrones on which were seated those who had been given authority to judge. Ito, mga tao ito eh. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of the testimony about Jesus and because of the word of God. They had not uh, Ano pong one? Pakingin po natin. They had not... Uh, yeah. They had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So, nabuhay ito and they reigned with Christ a thousand years. Uh, Pero dito, the rest of the dead did not come to life until a thousand years were ended. So, meron ditong resurrection. Dito, ang tawag dito, first resurrection. Yan po ang, ang word dyan. First resurrection. Ito yung second resurrection. Uh, eto, mga wicked lang ang mariresurrect dito. Eto, yung mga saved. Yan ang mariresurrect dito sa first resurrection. Sabi natin, sabi niya, uh, this is the first resurrection. Yun, eto yung first resurrection. Okay? Mga saved lang ang mariresurrect daw dyan. Blessed and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. Yung salitang share in the first resurrection. The second death has no power over them. But they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with Him for a thousand years. Okay? So magre-reign magre-reign itong mga saved na na-resurrect dito for a thousand years. Dito. 
<coughs> when the thousand years are over, when a thousand years are over, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Lagog, and to gather them for battle. In number, in number they are like the sun on the seashore. They march across the breadth of the earth and surround the camp of God's people, the city he loves. <coughs> okay. But fire came down from heaven and devoured them. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They will be tormented day and night, forever and ever. Read natin. The judgment. Then I saw a great white throne. Kaya nga tinawag natin, great white throne judgment. Who was seated on it. And him who was seated on it. The earth and the heavens fled from his presence. And there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what they had done. So, nagkaroon ng resurrection dito, yung lahat ng namatay. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. So ito yung punishment talaga for sin. Okay? Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake in the lake of fire. Okay. Yeah. Mapapa senyorito. Yung resurrection ng mga saved at resurrection ng mga wicked or unsaved ay separated ng 1,000 years. Okay? <clears throat> May problema yan. Ito, symbolic ito. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nasa, gitna, ah, nasa bandang dulo ito ng isang symbolic na book. Revelation. Okay? <clears throat> Wala kang makikita outside revelation kahit na hin wala kang makikita na pagdating ni Jesus Christ merong 1,000 years. Second coming tapos 1,000 years. Wala kang makikita. Okay? Now, sino sa palagay nyo ang may Kwan, merong pinakamagandang information tungkol sa second kami. Oh, easy price mismo. Diba? <laughs> wala nang kwan, wala nang hihigit pa sa information na alam ni Jesus Christ sa kanya second kami. Wala pong kwan, 1,000 years pagdating ni Jesus Christ. Okay? Ano ang mangyayari pagdating ni Jesus Christ? Eto. Tingnan nga natin sa kwan, Matthew 25. Upisahan natin dun sa 40, 41. Tatanda nyo ito. Pagdating niya, titipunin niya lahat ng bansa. Paghihiwalayin niya yung mga save. At saka yung, at saka yung one, hindi save. Tulad ng paghihiwalay ng pastol sa kambing at sa tupa. Okay. Yung mga tupa nasa kanan, yung mga kambing nasa kaliwa. The king will reply, the king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for the least of those, these brethren and sisters of mine, you did for me. Okay. Then he will say to those on his left, ito na yung mga unsaved, ito yung mga goats. Okay. He will say to those who are, you are, you who are cursed, I know, depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Asa ng 1,000 years dyan? Tala, pagdating niya, hinati na yung one, save, hali kayo. Sabi niya ganun, come, uh, uh, inherit kingdom prepared for you. Dito naman sa kwan, mga nasa kaliwa, umayo kayo doon sa eternal fire. 
prepared for the devil and his angels. Ito, plain and simple statements ito. There is nothing symbolic about what Jesus Christ said here. Right? Samantalang itong revelation, kwan ito, admittedly, kwan ito, symbolic na book. So ngayon, alin ang pakupanin mo? Right? Dito papasok yung ating uh, rule, uh, isang rule sa hermeneutics. The plain and simple statements must interpret the symbolic statements. Okay? Hindi mo pwedeng i-bend dito, hindi mo pwedeng baluktutin ito, o take ito literally, and then ito ang babaluktutin mo. Dahil plain and simple statements ito. Walang symbolic dito sa sinabi ni Jesus Christ. Okay? Nung sabihin niyang, uh, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Talagang kwan. Itataboy siya sa impyerno. E eh, dito, ang impyerno, nandito pa lang. Eh. Ba? Ang problema yan. Kailangan, i-interpret mo to na hindi niya po kontrahin ito. Okay? Ngayon, isa pa. Another plain and simple statement ni Jesus Christ sa John. John chapter 5. <clears throat> Tungkol naman ito sa resurrection ng saved at saka ng wicked. Ng unsaved. Chapter 5, 28 at 29. Okay? Do not be amazed. Ito si Jesus Christ na nagsasalita. Do not be amazed at this. For a time is coming. But sinin nyo yan, ha? A time. Hindi two times. <laughs> uh, a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear His voice and come out. Those who have done what is good will rise to live. And those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. Oh. Ayun. Dito, plain and simple statements ni Jesus Christ, ang resurrection ng saved at saka resurrection ng unsaved ay at the same time. So bakit ngayon dito, 1,000 years ang pagitan? Nakakuan ninyo, nakita ninyo yung discrepancy dito. If I will interpret this literally, if I will interpret this literally, then I have to bend or to twist itong mga statements na to. Plain and simple statements. Ang gagawin ko, <coughs> uh, do not be amazed at this, for two times are coming. <laughs> <laughs> para makuk makuan ko yan ma ma take care ko itong resurrection na to ng safe at resurrection ng one weekend na magkalayo 1000 years ang pagitan okay so either na baluktutin mo to plain and simple statement o kaya interpret mo to bilang symbolic hanapin mo kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng mga symbols na to Okay? <clears throat> Alright, tingnan natin ngayon. Meron ditong key. First resurrection. Right? First resurrection. Alam niyo ba, na sa harap ng Diyos, ang resurrection natin ay yung resurrection ni Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Alright. Mukhang meron pang hindi kumbinsilo. <laughs> Masahin natin, Ephesians, sa Ephesians 2. Ang sabi doon, tayo, yung mga saints na binuhay dito sa first resurrection, ay maghaharin kasama ni Kristo rito. Hindi mo sabihin, makikiupo-upo tayo doon. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Sit in. Uh, umpisa natin sa 5. Okay? 
Tingnan natin to. Sabi dito, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. You made alive and resurrected, ibig sabihin niya. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Oh, so, nakaupo na kayo doon. <laughs> as far as God is concerned, kung ano yung nangyari kay Jesus Christ, nangyari sa atin. Okay? Bakit? Siya yung humalili sa atin sa harap ng Diyos. So, kung ano yung nangyari sa Kanya, ganun din ang parang nangyari sa atin. Okay? Yun ang ibig sabihin nito. Right? He made us alive with Christ. He resurrected us with Christ. God raised us up with Christ and seated us. Napag-aralan natin yun sa uh, NCCM, kung anong ibig sabihin yan. Ang uh, recipient ng action ay tayo. Eh, kitang-kita naman dyan eh. Si, ano, raised us up. Us. Right? Us. Seated us. Right? Pero yung action ginawa mismo kay Jesus Christ. Hindi sa atin. Okay? Ginawa doon sa ating substitute. Pero dahil ginawa sa ating substitute, it was good as if it was done to us. As far as God is concerned, kung ano yung ginawa kay Kristo, ganun ang ginawa sa atin. Sabi nga sa 2 Corinthians 5.14 at saka 15, the, the love of God constrained us in that if one died for all, then all are dead. Kung merong namatay na isa para sa lahat, kung ganun, patay lahat. Okay? Ibig sabihin, tayo na nanampalataya sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo, na siya ang ating substitute. Kung ano yung nangyari sa Kanya, ganun din ang bilang ng Diyos na nangyari sa atin. Namatay siya, namatay tayo. Nabuhay siya, nabuhay tayo. Okay? So, ngayon, kung i-interpret ko to using the gospel, right? The life, death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ para sa atin. This first resurrection, itong first resurrection na ito, is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Si Jesus Christ ito. Pero, at sabi sa Revelation, Blessed are those who share in the first resurrection. Makikishare tayo dito sa resurrection ni Jesus Christ. Okay? So as far as God is concerned, nung maresurrect si Jesus Christ, lahat ng magiging believers from then on resurrected na kay Christ. Okay? Ito yung first resurrection. Remember, Jesus Christ is called the firstborn of those who are raised from the dead. So ngayon, marest dito tayo na kuan na resurrect, hindi actually sa second coming, right? A resurrection natin nasa first coming a resurrection natin. So ito actually ito yung first coming ni Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Ngayon, sa Jewish numerology, yung 10 times 10 times 10, yun yun, 1,000. Sa Jewish numerology, yung, one ang ter- yung, uh, yung mga numbers ng perfection nila, 1, 3, uh, uh, 7, 10, 10 12. Yan ang mga numbers ng perfection sa Jewish numerology. Okay? Yung 1,000 years, 10 yan na multiply mo ng 3 times. 10 times 10 times 10. In other words, this is, this is a perfect time na sinet ng Diyos. 
na sinet ng Diyos. From the time of Jesus' sec- first coming, eto actually ang second coming. Sa totoo na. Eto ang second coming. Bakit? Eto yung judgment day. Eto yung judgment day. Kung mapapansin ninyo doon sa ating uh, dito sa binasa natin dito <coughs> sa, sa Matthew 25 dito paghihiwalayin yung kwan, yung uh, save at saka unsaved yung mga yung mga kwan, uh, unsaved eh mapuputa na sa impyerno at doon sa description nito ito yung lake of fire nandito yung lake of fire yung second death Yan yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ na depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Eto, resurrection lang ito ng wicked. Okay? Although physically, bodily, the saints will be resurrected also here, pero sabi ko nga, ang resurrection natin counted yun sa resurrection ni Jesus Christ. So, ang mare-resurrect dito, as far as God is concerned, ang mare-resurrect lang dito, yung pan, yung mga hindi tumanggap sa resurrection ni Jesus Christ as their resurrection. Dito sila mare-resurrect. But then, they will only be resurrected. Sabi nga ni Jesus Christ, uh, those who have done evil will, li- will be raised for eternal condemnation. Mabubuhay nga sila, pero sa lake of fire, ang, ang direction nila. Okay? So in other words, this will be a long period of time, but a perfect time set by God between the first coming and the second coming of Jesus Christ. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung perfect time na ikinwa ng Diyos, uh, itinakda ng Diyos. Basta alam natin, <clears throat> when Christ was raised, as far as God is concerned, we were raised with Him. At dito, nakaupo na tayo dito sa panahon ito. Actually, nasa ako na tayo ngayon, 2018. Right? Lumampas na ng 1,000. Right? But then again, sabi ko nga, para sa numerology ng mga Jews, eto yung perfect time na itinalaga ng Diyos. Hindi natin alam kung gaano kahaba yan. Yan ang perfect time na itinalaga ng Diyos between the first coming of Jesus Christ and the second coming of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> na pagdating niya, i-judge niya. Nandito na yan. Nandiyan na yung beast, nandiyan na yung whore, nandiyan na yung kuhan sa lake of fire. Right? <clears throat> Pagka interpret mo, in-interpret natin using the gospel, yung death resurrection ni Jesus Christ, nandito tayo. Right? Nagiging consils- consistent doon sa mga plain and simple statements na sinabi ni Christ. Walang nagiging conflict. Right? Na- Nakakapa nyo? Right? So, kailangan consistent ang uh, interpretation mo sa revelation consistent siya sa plain and simple statements elsewhere in the Bible and also must be consistent with the gospel of Jesus Christ mm. remember the revelation revelation the book of revelation is about the revelation of Jesus Christ yes. right? so kailangan yung implication ng life death resurrection niya isa sa isa sa alang alang mo pag nag interpret ka Pag meron kang interpretation, na kukontrahin yon, malamang na malamang na mali yung interpretation. Okay? <clears throat> May question po kayo? Ako kayo mo. Sige, <laughs> na uh, Nabasa na rin doon sa pan, uh, last week uh, regarding sa time. Uh, times and uh, half a time. Three, three and a half years. Three and a half years. So, Ibig sabihin, natapos na po yun. Tapos na yun. So, uh, saan po galing yung mga 
prinsipo ng one uh, rapture, kung, kung yung, ibig sabihin ng kaya pa years na hindi natapos na wala ng rapture. Walang rapture. Walang secret rapture. <coughs> Saan ba nang galing yung one teaching na yun? Yung secret rapture po, isang uh, kwan, isang uh, misinterpretation ng uh, Daniel, portion ng uh, book of Daniel, at ng Revelation. Mm -hmm. right? Misinterpretation, galing yung kwan, <coughs> galing yung uh, <coughs> isang ayon sa interpretation na to, okay, Uh, merong kwan merong yung Daniel yung Daniel 9 uh, right? 20 kwan actually yan 25 hanggang 27 okay? Daniel 9 25 to 27 ang sabi nila itong Daniel 9 27 ay hindi pa natupad Noong kwan, noong panahon, noong Old Testament. Okay, o, hindi pa natupad hanggang sa panahon ni Jesus Christ. <coughs> Kaya itong Daniel 9.27, which speaks about seven days or one week, right? One week. Seven days or seven years. Okay? One day, sa prophetic uh, pan, one Prophetic day, right? one prophetic day equals one literal year. Okay. At dahil seven days yan, ibig sabihin talaga daw seven years. Ngayon, remember, God gave Israel, God gave Israel, 490 years. 490 years para magbalik loob ang Israel at gawin niya yung kwan. Ewan ko kung na, naituro ko na rito. Gawin niya yung uh, anim na bagay na pinagagawa ng Diyos. Right? Uh, make an end of sin, stop the transgression, anoint the most holy place, anim na pinagagawa, at uh, tanggapin yung Messiah. Okay? Sa loob ng 490 years, ang nangyari, 483 years ang lumipas, <coughs> sa ngayon sa interpretation nila, 483 years ang lumipas hanggang dito. Ito yung cross. Okay? 483 years ito. <coughs> hanggang dito, Tinanggihan ng Juan, ng mga Jews, ang uh, Messiah nila dito. Nireject nila. So, ang sabi ng interpretation na yan, mula dito sa, uh, sa cross, tumigil na yung prophetic time ng mga Jews. Pero, may natitira pa, 483, may natitira pa ang 7 years. Itong 7 years daw na ito, dito yan matutupad dito sa future. Nandito tayo ngayon. Now, right? Ito yung seven years. Ang tawag nila dyan, seven years tribulation. tribulation. Okay? Yan. <coughs> Sa umpisa ng seven years, ito yung tinatawag nilang secret rapture. <coughs> Ang ibig sabihin ng secret rapture, walang makakalam na dumating si Jesus Christ secret. maliban yung church, right? Hindi alam yan ng Juan, ng uh, buong mundo, ang nakakalam lang yung mga mararapture daw, yung kukunin, right? Uh, kung napanood niyo yung uh, scene na Thief in the Night, yan, ganun. Maglalaho niya lang. Uh, kaya mag-ingat kayo, dahil baka nasa ere kayo, maging piloto, i-rapture, baka kayo ba? <laughs> hindi kayo ba? Hindi kayo makarating sa uh, sa Pilipinas o kung saan kayo pupunta. Okay? <coughs> dito. Dito pa lang daw, dito pa lang matutupad ito. Okay? 
Ito yung seven years tribulation na sinasabi nila. Dito, secret rapture. Tapos dito, yung visible second coming. <coughs> visible second coming na. Sa totoo, sa totoo lang, di, dumating na dito si Jesus Christ, kinuha niya yung church, nirapture niya yung church. By all pan, by all means, seven years ang pagitan nito, hindi mo na pwedeng sabihin iisang event ito. Right? Pwede ba sabihin seven years ang pagitan, isang event lang yan. Right? Second coming ito. Yes. Third coming na yan. <laughs> eh kaya lang, wala naman third coming sa banal na kasulatan. Meron sa, kwan, sa banal na kasulatan, second coming lang. Right? Babasahin niyo yung one, yung uh, sa Hebrews 9. Hebrews 9, 28 niya tayo. At sabi doon, He will come the second time lang. Walang third time. <coughs> e kung may secret rapture dito, at separated ng kwan, ng seven years, for all intent and purposes, this is an event separate from that event. So kung dumating na siya rito, though secretly, dumating siya. Second coming. Right? Third coming yan. Wala naman third coming nga eh. So ang ginawa nila, ang second coming daw ay two stages. <laughs> one secret <laughs> and one visible. <laughs> Magaling magpalusot eh. Right? <clears throat> Pero paan, paano mo sasabihin isang okay. one lang yan? Isang event lang yan? na phase 1 and phase 2. <laughs> eh, 7 years ang pagitan ng, ng kwa na yan. Right? At pagkatapos daw nito, eto yung 1,000 years. Right? 1,000 years. Tapos dito yung... <laughs> ang na, lalabas nito, first coming, ano? First coming, second, second coming, third, third coming, fourth coming. <laughs> <laughs> Kami, kami, para siguro natin maraming maligtas. <laughs> Alright. Ito yung Great White Throne Judgment. Okay? Pero, maraming kwan nga eh. Maraming uh, kwan ito. Problema. Maraming problema. Problematic. Problematic yan. Una, as sabi ni Jesus Christ, I have come to fulfill the law and the prophets. Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin yung Old Testament. Mm-hmm. Ang tanong, na-fulfill ba lahat ni Jesus Christ? Amen. Yes. Yes. It is finished. Oh, yes. sinabi niya, it is finished daw. Yes. Oh, bakit sasabihin mo, mayroon pang natirang isang verse dito, <laughs> <laughs> na dito pala na-fulfill. <coughs> oh, eto yung nagsinungaling si Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ha? Sina- Bago siya, kwan, na- nag-uumpisa pa lang siyang uh, mag-ministry, si Jesus Christ, sinabi na niya, Matthew 5, sinabi na niya sa mga disciples niya, Don't, don't, don't think that I have come to destroy the law and the prophets. Ang tawag nila sa Old Testament na tinatawag natin ngayon, dahil wala pang Old Testament, wala pang New Testament noon. New Testament, wala pa. So wala pang Old. Ang tawag nila, law and the prophets. Right? Ang ibig sabihin yung Old Testament yan. Do not think that I have come to destroy the law and the prophets. I have not come but to, to destroy them, but to fulfill them. So, kuha niya, i-fulfill niya. Ang Panginoon Iso Kristo, hindi siya bumalik sa langit with unfulfilled. Yes. Yes. Unfulfilled tasks. Mm. O na-fulfill niya yan. <coughs> diba, ngayon, sasabihin ng mga interpreters, mayroong isang verse dyan, Daniel 9, hindi yan matupad. Right? Dito palang matutupad. Mas paniniwala ako yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ na He came to fulfill the Old Testament. Kaya sabi ko nga eh, if Daniel 9.27 falls, the rapture falls. Dahil yan, yan ang basihan ng rapture. Iniisip nyo saan nakuha yung pan, yung uh, seven years dito. At sangayon sa kanila, sa seven years na to, sa, sa kalagitnaan, so ito, three and a half years ito. Diba? Three and a half years yan. 
O yan ang sinasabing three and a half years nila. Yes. Sa kanila, yung three and a half years, <coughs> hindi, kwan, hindi prophetic year, right? kundi literal years. Yes. Wala silang prophetic year. Eh. Basta literal sila. Pag sinabing three and a half years, three and a half years. Right? So ang sabi nila, <coughs> sa gitna raw nito, right? sa gitna raw nito, ikukuan ibe-break ibe-break ng antichrist yung covenant niya with Israel dito sa umpisa nito ang hujat ng rapture ay yung magkakaroon ng uh, contract or covenant ang antichrist daw at saka ang Israel yung Israel ngayon na nandiyan right yung antichrist na hinihintay nila dito darating okay After three and a half years, ibe-break nung one, nung Antichrist, yung uh, covenant niya. Ang lalabas na Antichrist, Israel. Sa interpretation na yan. Or, some figure uh, sa, Kingdom, uh, sa area na yan. Okay? <coughs> Ngayon, may problema dito. Okay? Dito, sa panahon ito, kung babasahin niyo po yung kwan, sana yung kwan, basahin niyo nga yung Daniel 9.27. At sininin niyo yung kwan dyan, merong mangyayari. Internet. Sure. 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 Okay, yan, 27. Yan, kailan natin. Okay. He, he, sabi nila, ang anti-Christ yan. He will confirm a covenant with many for one seven, for one week. Right? One seven. Yes, seven days. In the middle of the seven, so three and a half, three and a half. He will put an end to sacrifice and offering. Ibig sabihin daw, i-rebuild yung temple dito. Okay? Ibig sabihin, magkakaroon ng third temple. Okay? Magkakaroon ng third temple. Ang unang temple, yung temple ni Solomon. Ang pangalawang temple, yung temple ni Sir Babel. Ang natatanda ninyo. Yun ang temple na pinasok ni Jesus Christ. Yung second temple. Eh, giniba ng Roman, uh, kwan yan, Roman Empire, noong AD 70, giniba. At yan ngayon, ay naka, kwan, nakatabon uh, nasa ilalim ng lupa yan. Yan temple na yan. At sa taas ng, temp, ng kwan na yan, lupa na nakatabon sa Jerusalem, nandun yung Al-Aqsa Mosque <laughs> ng mga Muslim. Ngayon, kalahati ng Al-Aqsa Mosque, nandun mismo sa kwan, location ng kwan, ng temple. So, para mahukay nila yung temple at maitayo nilang uli, kailangan gibay nila yung kwan. Mosque. Yung mosque. Hindi papayag ang mga kwan. Ang mga em. Dahil yung uh, kwan na yan, Al-Aqsa Mosque, That is the third holiest mosque in the Muslim world. Ang una, yung sa Medina, right? at saka yung sa uh, Makkah. Right? Those are the two holiest shrines, or two holiest mosques. And third, yung Al-Aqsa Mosque of Jerusalem. Na nasa ilalim yung temple ng mga Jews natabunan. Right? Hindi naman po sila pwedeng magtayo ng ibang temple sa ibang lugar. Dahil sinabi mismo ng Diyos sa kanila, mula dito, hanggang dito, hanggang dito, itatayo niyo yung temple. Ang Diyos mismo ang buwan. Nagbigay ng demarcation kung saan itatayo yung temple. Therefore, hindi sila pwedeng magtayo sa ibang lugar. 
Pag nagtayo sila sa ibang lugar, hindi na yun yung temple na gusto ng Diyos. Okay? So, kwanito. Malaking kwanito. So, kailangan maitayo yung third temple at pagkatapos, i-resume ng kwan ng mga Diyos yung kanilang temple services. Ibig sabihin, mag-umpisa na nila sila, i-resume <coughs> yung animal sacrifices, right? Uh, yung kanilang mga annual festivals gagawin nila at magbibigay uli sila ng tithes dahil may temple na ngayon hindi sila, nag, ngayon hindi sila nagbibigay ng tithes dahil walang temple okay? walang Jew nagbibigay ng tithes ngayon dahil walang temple ang tithes po related sa temple okay? <coughs> ngayon at sabi na iba be ready Rapture will, kwan, will occur anytime. Yung nagsasabi nun, hindi niya alam mismo kung ano ang kwan, basihan ng rapture. Ang basihan ng rapture, kailangan maitayo muna itong third temple na ito, mag muna ng animal sacrifices, at saka palang mararapture Chikal. ang church. Dahil ito ang umpisa ng <coughs> tribulation. At the beginning of the tribulation, or just before the tribulation na uh, starts, kukunin daw ng Diyos yung kanyang church para wag dumaan dito sa great tribulation na to. Okay? Pero ang problema dito, hindi siya pwede, <coughs> ang rapture, hindi siya pwede dumating kagad hanggat hindi na itatayo ang third temple at nagre-resume ang animal sacrifices sa Jerusalem. <coughs> Kaya kung may mababasa kayo, be ready, the rapture can take place anytime. Uninformed. <coughs> uninformed na Kristiyano yun tungkol sa panin- pinaniniwalaan niyang rapture. Ibig sabihin, hindi niya alam kung anong basihan ng rapture. <coughs> Yan ang basihan ng rapture. <coughs> Daniel 7.27, dito mangyayari, mag- hindi raw natupad dito, sa parking ito, matutupad pa lang dito. At anti-Christ pa ang kwan. Ang tutupad. Sa gitna raw nito, i-re-resume dito yung kwan, ano? Magkakaroon ng covenant between the anti-Christ and the kwan, the, the Jews. Okay? At pagdating ng three and a half years, ipapatigil niya uli itong animal sacrifices. Kasi ang sabi rito, ha? He will put an end to sacrifice and offering in the middle right, of the seven dito. So, pinayagan niya na mag, uh, mag-offer ng animal sacrifices again dito, pero pagdating ng three and a half years, patitigil niya rin. Yan daw ang ibig sabihin ng prophecy na niya. Okay? <clears throat> Whereas, the truth of the matter is, yung sina- itong hina ito, ito yung Messiah. Yeah. Right? Yan yung Messiah. He will confirm a covenant with many. Itong many ito, yan ang Israel. Right? For one seven, in the middle of the seven, He will put an end to sacrifice and offering dahil siya na mismo ang iyo offer. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yun ang ibig sabihin yan. Hindi yan anti-Christ, kundi si Christ mismo. <laughs> Yan ang hirap sa interpretation na yan dahil yung Christ mismo ginawa nilang anti-Christ. Delikat. Okay? <coughs> so, wala lang tayo time para ipakita yung kung na yan. Yung prophecy na yan. How Christ really fulfilled that prophecy. Kung babasahin natin yung kung mga naong na, umpisa sa 25. Pwede? Mire, <laughs> mire, mire. 25 to 27. Iko natin. Uh, Type ng buong 25 to 27. Para makita natin yung mga <coughs> ngkwan. Right. Ito sabi niya. No one understand this from the time the word goes out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. Dahil nung panahon na I sinulat ito ni Daniel, giba ang Jerusalem. Right? Giniba ng mga Babylonians. At uh, 70 years, giba yung uh, Jerusalem. Okay? Ang sabi rito, 
From the time the word goes out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem until the anointed one, the ruler, comes, there will be seven sevens and sixty-two sevens. It will be rebuilt with the streets and a trench, but in times of trouble. After the sixty-two sevens, the <coughs> anointed one, ang pinag-uusapan dito, Messiah. Mm. Anointed one. Right? Yan ang ruler. The anointed one. At saka ruler, right? He will put, uh, until the anointed one will be put to death and will have nothing. The people of the ruler who will come will, will destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end will come like a flood. War will continue until the end. Pagkikita niyo rito, may dalawa. Yung uh, ruler na anointed one at saka yung merong darating na ruler naman who will come will destroy the city and the sanctuary. Sikwa nito, Rome. Si Titus actually ito. Right? The end will come like a flood. War will continue till the end. And desolations have been decreed. Ngayon, pagdating dito, ito. Ito ngayon ang kwan, ang pinag-uusapan. Yan bang he na yan, ay ito bang Anointed one o iyan yung ruler na sisira sa sanctuary? Right? Anointed one. Ngayon, kung titignan mo, <coughs> he will confirm a covenant with many for one seven or one week or seven years. In the middle of the sevens, he will put an end to the sacrifice and offering. Ang kwan ito, Ito mismo, ang anointed one niyan, yeah. yung Messiah. Right? He will put an end to, to one, sacrifice and offering dahil siya na mismo ang i-offer <coughs> as a sacrifice for sin. Okay? <coughs> Kaya, May katanungan kayo? Kaya po natupad. Ito natupad. Itong sinasabi Walang niya, hindi natupad. Right? Actually, nagkamali sila ng one dahil ito, siya na yun eto yung gitna ng three and a half years. Okay? Three and a half years dito. Three and a half years dito. Okay? Ito yung ministry ni Jesus Christ. Ito yung ministry ng apostles. Yes. Sa mga Jews. Right? From, from this time on, yan yung sinabi ng mga apostles. It was, it was, uh, one, the, the will of God that the gospel might be preached to you first. Mm -hmm. But having proved yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. <laughs> Dito natapos yung taning sa Israel. Ito yung in the middle of the week, He will he will stop the offering and the sacrifices. Si Jesus Christ was here. Okay? <clears throat> so ito, wala ito. <coughs> yung naghihintay ng kwan ng Rapture. third temple Rapture. na pag naitayo yung uh, kwan third temple mag re ng animal sacrifices and therefore that's the beginning of the tribulation, seven tribulation no seven years tribulation ira-rapture yung church hindi po mangyayari yan right? walang mangyayari ganyan <laughs> problematic talaga Okay? Ngayon, ang susunod dito, yung kuna, yung uh, creation na ng new heaven and new earth. Okay? Magkakaroon talaga ng new heaven and new earth. Umpisa sa 21, natapos natin yung kuna. Natapos natin yung 20. Okay? Ito, ito yung 20. Okay? Yung, yung 21, yan ang new heaven and new earth na. Ngayon, Sa Revelation, makikita ninyo, laging may sinasabi, and the temple of God was open in heaven. Tapos may lumabas na angel. Kaya. Pero dito sa 21, makikita ninyo, wala naman talagang temple sa langit. Remember, Revelation is apocalyptic writing. In other words, it uses Old Testament Jewish terminologies dito sa, sa Revelation. 
Pag sinabing temple, hindi ikwan yan. Hindi yan actual na temple na nakita ni John. Nakita, nakakita talaga siya ng temple. Pero hindi yan pan. Hindi yan sa langit. Yung sinasabi niyang, and the temple of God was opened in heaven. At tinutukoy niyang heaven, yung pan. Yung nakikita nating blue. Right? Kasi pinakitaan siya ng vision. Eh. Right? So nakita niya. Sa langit, yung <coughs> langit na tinatawag nating blue pa, blue sky. Diyan niya nakita. Dahil dyan sa pinibigyan ng vision. Eh. Nakita niya may bumukas na, pa, na temple. Right? Pero kung yan, symbolic yan. Yung temple na yan, eh symbolic. Kung titingnan mo sa pan, tingnan lang natin sa nalil sa Revelation 21. Ah, patapos na tayo, ha? Lalang <laughs> part 3. Ah, tingnan natin yung pan. Yan, new heaven and new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And there was no longer any sea. Wala na pong pan, si. Sa ngayon, ang earth, 75% ng earth covered ng water, right? Ng oceans. Pagdating sa pan, sa new heaven and new earth, wala na pong si. Mga rivers na lang, right? Wala nang si. Ngayon, isipin nyo kung gaano kalaking lupa yan. Ha? Ibig sabihin, Malalaki ang lote natin doon. Pero <laughs> <laughs> mo, uh, yung three-fourths ng buwan ngayon, earth surface, ha? magiging lupa yan. Kasi wala nang sea eh. O sa, sa dami ba naman ng buwan, maliligtas from Adam, ha? hanggang sa huling saint na maliligtas. Eh bibigyan sila ng buwan ng uh, house and love doon. <laughs> Damn! Di ba? So, kailangan tanggalin yung C. Uh, para... Wala tayo ng isla, Kuya Mark. Ha? Wala tayo ng isla. Wala na. Wala na tayo. Ma magiging... Vegetarian na. Magiging fruitarian tayo doon. Babalik tayo doon sa King Adam na palang. Fruits lang ang kinakain nila. Alright, so, sabi dito, yan. The first, the first earth had passed away and there was no longer sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and He will dwell with them. They will be His people. God Himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or hurting or crying or pain for the whole order of things has passed Amen. away. Amen. Wala nang OFW dito. <laughs> pwedeng overseas dahil wala nang sis. Over the land na. Over the land na. Sabi dito, He who was seated, who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then He said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring wow. of the water of life. Mm -hmm. Those who are victorious will inherit all this. And I will be their God and they will be my children. Amen. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, all right, nasa labas sila. Mm -hmm. This is the second death. The new Jerusalem, the bride of the Lamb. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowels full of seven pl last plagues came to me and said, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the, the spirit to a mountain great and high and showed me the holy city. Siyempre, hindi naman yung one, yung mga structures ang kakasal ng Diyos. Hindi yung mga nakatira doon. Yes. Right? Tayo. Okay? Pag sinabing Manila City, eh, hindi naman hindi yung tao. Yung mga, yung mga tao ang mas importante doon. Right? 
coming down out of heaven from God. It shone with the glory of God, and its brilliance was like that of very precious jewels, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall. Yan, yung mga but on the gates were written the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. And there were three gates on the east, three on the north, three on the south, and three on the west. The wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Alagang pan sila. Special mention. The angel who talked with me had a measuring rod and measured the city, its gates. Okay, mga details na lang yan ang one. Uh, ng uh, city. Sabi na ito. Yan. Sabi, I did not see a temple in the city. Oh. Walang, walang temple doon. <laughs> Bakit? Because the Lord the God Almighty and the Lamb, and the Lamb are its, its temple. temple. See, sabi ni Jesus Christ, I will destroy this temple and you will destroy this temple. And I will raise it up in three days. Ang tinutungo niya, yung temple ng kanyang katawan. Right? Siya itong temple eh. The Lamb are its temple. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it. For the glory of God gives it light. And the Lamb is its Lamb. The nations will walk by its light and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. No, 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 no day will its gates ever be shut, for there will be no night there. Wala na. Wala, wala nang pantong. Wala nang tumatong tulog. Hindi, kasi kaya naman kailangan natin ang tulog. Dahil sa pagtulog natin, nagre-replenish yung wala natin. Nagre-repair yung ating uh, katawan ng uh, mga broken tissues, damaged tissues. Nire-repair niya sa panahon lang ng tulog tayo. Tsaka nag-re-repair. Eh, may eternal eh. Kanya eh, bakit naman... Uh, Mas tulog ka pa. Matutulog ka pa. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan ng tulog. Doon, hindi na kailangan ng tulog. Wala na yung kaka-eyebug dun sa... Glorified body na. Oo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as sinasabi ko ang one. Wala naman talagang temple. Right? Wala naman talagang temple, na literal na temple. There is no temple there. Yung nakita ni Juan, ni John, na sabi niya, nakita ko nabuksan yung temple sa langit. Ang tinuto sinasabi niya yung langit, hindi naman itong langit na to. Kundi yung langit na nakikita niya diyan sa yung blue sky. Yan ang langit na sinasabi niya. Heaven. Eh, pagkatapos niya, sabi, nung mabuksan yung temple sa langit, ang sabi niya, and there were lightning and thunder and earthquake. Hindi. Dapat kung langit yun, heaven quake. Heaven <laughs> quake. Di ba? Oh, in the earthquake. Kung earthquake, eh, di nasa earth pa rin. <laughs> Kaso heaven. So, ang, ang sinasabi niyang sky, yung sky na nakikita natin dito sa earth. Nung mabuksan, nagkaroon ng earthquake. Kung nasa langit yun, hindi dapat nagkaroon ng earthquake. Oh, heaven quake. Okay. Heaven quake. <coughs> Alright, so, ayan. 22, ganun din. Medyo, ganun lang, pinaliwanag niya lang. At uh, pinonfirm ulit ni John na ang sinulat niya rito ay totoo. Yes. <laughs> walang, walang, uh, 22. 22. Last na to. <laughs> Natapos na din. Tapos. Ayan. Ayan. He then restored. And the angel showed me the river of the water of life as clear as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street, street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life bearing 12 crops of fruit yielding its fruit every month. <laughs> Kaya nakakita ng punong kahoy na every month, iba ang bunga. Ito pa ang maganda. And the leaves of the tree, yung leaves of the tree of life, healing. are for the healing of the nations. Kung may peklat ka, gagaling na dyan. 
カスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカスカス They will see his face, yes. and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. For the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever. Amen. The angel said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. Yung lahat na sinulat niya rito. True. The Lord, the God who inspires the prophets, sent his angel to show his servants the things that must soon take place. Yeah. Look, I am coming soon. Blessed is he is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy written in this scroll or book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I had heard and seen them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your fellow prophets and with all who keep the words of this call. Worship God. And he told me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy. In other words, wala nang prophecy dito sa Revelation na nakatago pa. Right? <coughs> Ang problema rin dito kung yung interpretation mo, tama o hindi. Right? <coughs> Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of the scroll, because the time is near. Let the one who does wrong continue to be, to be vile. Let the one who does right continue to be right. And let the holy person continue to be holy. Invitation and warning, look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to each person according to what they have done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have, that is, wash their robes in the blood of the Lamb, mm -hmm. that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go through the gates into the city. Yung lang nahugasan yung kwan, robes nila, nang dugura ng ating Panginoon, ang buka yun yung kwan. Tapos, nasa labas na yung kwan. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright morning star. The spirit and the right say, come and let, and let, the and one let the one who hears say, come. Let the one who is thirsty come, and let the one who wishes take the free gift of the water of life. I want everyone who hears the words of this prophecy or of this scroll, scroll if anyone adds anything to them, God will add to that person the plagues described in this scroll. And if anyone takes words away from this scroll or prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this scroll. He who testifies to this thing says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. 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 Opo. Ito na po po yun sa Yang fire na yan, yung kwan yan. Uh, Pinakabainit na fire yan. Hmm. Nung, kung, nung binabasa ko yung kwan na yan eh, nasabi, sa isang kwan, sa isang banda, sabi, 
yun daw kwan, yun daw mga unsaved, itatapon sa labas. Where there is utter darkness. Right? And there will be gnashing of teeth. So madilim. Ito yung sabi kwan. Pero, nakalagay naman sa kwan, go into the eternal fire. So kwan, sa ang concept ko noon, Paano nangyari? Madilim, pero may fire. fire. Diba? Pagka may fire, eh, maluwanag yan. Yun, eh, nung kuwan, nung medyo lumawak yung kaalaman ko sa science, habang nagiging dark pala ang fire, lalo na may init. Okay. Yung blue flame, ah, blue pa lang yan, hindi pa dark. Yung blue flame, talagang mas ma-init yan kesa sa red flame. Okay. Yung po yung nakakat ng metal pepper. Ah, Oo, oh, yung blue flame. Pero hindi pa yun ang one. Dahil meron talagang dark flame. Okay. Na, narinig niya siguro yung tinatawag ng black hole. Okay. Yun. Kaya tinawag na black hole dahil uh, one. Uh, dark talaga. Pero ang temperature niyan, ang kwan. Sobrang init temperature sa loob. So, huwag niyo iisipin na pag sinabing uh, hell, eh maliwanag dahil fire. fire. Eh, madilim. Dahil yung fire doon, eh talagang kwan. The hottest fire. <laughs> There is. Hindi yan ordinary flame gaya nun na maliwanag. <laughs> Madilim po sa impyerno dahil yung apoy dun sobrang init. Okay, so tayo po ay pa. Last question. Oh, last question po. Sige, may Ayan pahabot. Ayan ano, paki-explain yung Battle of Armageddon. Ayan. Uh, tingnan niyo po sa kwan, Revelation 16. Sa kwan. Ito ang kwan. Ito ang uh, hindi... <coughs> uh, ang tawag dito? Ito ang problema ng literal interpretation. Okay? Tingnan ninyo kung paano hindi po pwede literal ito. Battle of Armageddon, 16. Bandang kwan. Sige po. Okay. <coughs> Saan yun? So, ayan. Okay. And they are demonic spirits that perform signs and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle of the great day of God Almighty. Okay? <coughs> Kaninong battle? The battle on the great day of God Almighty. Battle ito ng Diyos. Look, I come like, uh, like a thief. Second coming, and blessed is he who stays awake and remains close so as not to go naked and be shamefully exposed. Sige po. Susunod. And they gather the kings together to the place that is, that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. Right? At sabi nila, at sabi nila, ito raw ay isang plain sa Megiddo, Turkey. Right? Kung saan, yung lahat daw ng armies ng buwan ng mundo, ay mag-gather at magkukuan, mag-gegera. Uh, Hindi po pwede yan sa, kwan, sa gera ngayon. Ang gera ngayon, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta pa sa plane. At doon kayo mag- uh, <laughs> Eh, gera ni Trump ang kwan, Syria. Layo-layo niya. Tusboto na lang ngayon. Pinasabog niya yung kung anong gusto niya pasabugin doon. Hindi, hindi pumunta yung army niya doon. Pero nasira niya yung gusto niya sirain. Mm. Right? Hindi pa nito. Hindi ito. ito. At saka, hindi ito gera ng mga nasyon. Gera ito ng God Almighty against all the forces of evil. Pagsamasamahin mo na the beast, yung second beast, yung whore, right? both political and religious powers, they will gather together against God. Ito yung final battle between uh, good and evil. Naturally, may mga kwan dyan. May mga casualties dyan. Right? 
Pero sabi naman ng Panginoon, 10,000 will fall to your right, 1,000 to your left, hindi one. Hindi lalapit sa'yo ang one, ang panganib. Sa panahong ito, wala na pong halaga ang pagbububo ng dugo ng martir. Dahil wala nang magsisisi. Okay? Nakita niyo yung isang one, He that is righteous will be righteous still. And who and he that is wicked shall be wicked still. Wala nang balikan dito. Wala nang kwan. There will be no more repentance pagka dumating itong kwan na ito. Battle na ito. Therefore, wala pong mamamatay sa mga anak ng Diyos dito. Hindi na, hindi na magbubunga kung mamatay man. Sa ngayon, yung mga yung dugo ng mga martir ay nagsisilbing parang kanyan, parang uh, seed na umuusbong at narang dumadami right? yung mga kan, believers dahil sa mga martyrs. Sa panahon yun, wala nang, kan, wala nang kapuluhan kung magbubuman ng dugo ang mga believers dahil wala na pong kan, masama na makukonvert. So hindi na ipapahintulot ng kanyan ng Diyos. Okay? The battle of Armageddon is the battle of the Lord God Almighty against all the forces of evil. Pagsama-sama ay muna. Satanas, yung mga angels niya, all the evil men, lahat dyan magkupa niya. At uh, siyempre, yung, ang, ang mag-gather sa kanila, yung mga evil spirits ni Satan. Tingnan niyo yun sa mga una. <clears throat> ang nagagadal sa kanila sabi niya ganoon they are demonic spirits that perform signs and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty yung mga demonyo itong man yung mga magagadal sa lahat ng evil forces yung perform signs demonic spirits so, hindi ito kwan hindi ito gera ng uh, kwan ng uh, mga bansa. Gera ito ng lahat ng evil forces against God. Ito yung final, final battle. Siyempre, <coughs> may mga kanyan, mga physical one, uh, persecute yung mga anak ng Diyos, pero hindi naman ipapahintulot ng Diyos na may matay pa sa mga anak niya. Sa oras na yan. Okay. <coughs> So, wala pong gerang mangyayari sa Megiddo, Turkey. Right? Uh, sa kwan ngayon, sa military hardware ngayon, hindi ka na kailangan pumunta sa isang lugar para makigera. Kung gusto nilang gamitin yung kanilang mga missiles, pindut-pindut lang, para naglalaro lang ng computer. Yung mga <laughs> Pupunta yan, kung saan nila gusto mong pupunta. <clears throat> Okay, wala na pong question. Sige po, tayo tayo. Maraming pang-alas. Maraming po tayo. Maraming maraming salamat Panginoon sa pagkakataon na muli um, nakapakinig kami Panginoon ang mga katotohanan, katuroan sa banal na kasulatan. At lalong-lalo Panginoon sa mga future events, Lord, na aming inaasahan. Salamat, Panginoon, sa inyong paggabay at ang inyong banal na espiritu na siyang nagpaunawa sa aming Panginoon. Yes, Ikaw ang siyang nagbukas ng aming puso at isipan upang maniwaliwanag ito. At ginamit niyo lamang, Panginoon, si Kuya Mar para uh, siya ang magturo sa amin. Pinupuri ka namin, pinapasalamatan kahit pa man sa pagtatapos na ito ng ng pag-aaral sa Book of Revelations. At uh, dalangin namin, Lord, na uh, ang inyong banal na Espiritu ang siyang magpapaalala ng mga bagay na ito. At nang sa gayon, Lord, hindi kami malinlang ng gawa ng kaaway, Panginoon, at ng mga maling katuruan. Sa aming pansamantalang pag-iwahiwalay, dalangin namin, Lord, ang patuloy ninyong pag-iingat sa bawat isa sa amin. Sa mga magmamaneho, at uh, mga sasakyan na aming sinasakyan, dali mo kami Panginoon ng mapayapa at uh, ihahawiin niyo Panginoon ang mga, uh, mga balakid, mga hadlang, 
or mga sakuna na maaring gagawin ng kaaway sa pangalan ni Kristo Jesus. At sa buong magdamag Lord, bigyan mo kami ng maayos na kapahinyahan. Patuloy mong pagpalain ang gawain dito sa Markup, Panginoon. Kahit pa man ang bawat uh, churches na nagre-represent na nandito ngayon, Panginoon, yung ingatan ang mga iglesyang ito. At ganun din ang bawat isa sa amin na patuloy na nagsasagisip ng katotohanan. <coughs> Patawad sa aming mga pagkukulang at mga pagkakasala. Sa inyo lang ang pinakadakilang uh, mataas na kapurihan at pasasalamat. Sa pangalan ni Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.